Hi, my name is Pastor Hal York, and welcome to Truth in the Trenches. Today we're going to be in Proverbs chapter 26, verses 20 and 21, where we read, For lack of wood, the fire goes out, and where there is no whisperer, contention quiets down. Like charcoal to hot embers and wood to fire, so is a contentious man to kindle strife. Elsewhere we read, where Without wood, fire goes out, and without gossip, conflict dies down. In chapter 22, verse 10, we would drive out the scoffer and contention will go out. Even strife and dishonor will cease. The scoffer, the whisperer, the gossip, they aren't violent, uneducated, or blatantly evil people. But just look at the things that they leave in their path. Contention, quarrels, tension, bickering, strife, unrest, hostility, disputes, keeping things stirred up. Their presence in the company of people are like hot embers and wood to a fire. They keep it going and they keep things heated up. And Proverbs talks a lot about this person, the whisperer or the gossip, and it talks about them because of their potential to destroy relationships, families, and even churches. Everywhere they go, they leave heartache, hurt feelings, and they often do it with a smile on their face. Gossip is seldom shouted from the rooftop. No, gossip is usually whispered in the ear, shared over text, spoken over the phone. It can be done under the umbrella of concern or love for the other person. But that secret shared in confidence because they thought that person could be trusted and has left deep hurt and scars. How do you get rid of strife and contention? Proverbs gives us really only one answer. They have to go. Without wood, the fire goes out. Drive out the scoffer and contention will go out. It's hard to do because they seem so nice. They seem so on your side, yet their lips are poison and their heart is far from you. And they may be even part of your family, but that, isn't, that makes it even harder. We all know this person. They aren't at the family gatherings for more than 10 minutes and the temperature in the room has gone up. Strife and arguing and tension, you can cut it with a knife. And you're thinking to yourself, why did we invite them? They do this every time. And I think these last two years of COVID it escalated this at a very steep level. People's views on various issues surrounding COVID have turned family gatherings, social gatherings, and church gatherings into arenas of tension, strife, and ridicule. Whispers are no longer whispering. They are shouting from the rooftops. Both sides on every issue have thrown down the gauntlet and dare anyone to disagree with them. And they can't stop talking or arguing until they've convinced you to see things their way. The problem is everybody's talking, but no one's listening. What could have been a nice get-together has turned into a free-for-all of opinions and has just driven a wedge between people who would no doubt have been able to converse on just about any other subject and agree. Every other subject except this one, and this is the one they won't let go of. That's a contentious person, a whisperer or a gossip. It's not hard to draw people into controversial issues. It's easy to get people fired up, but it's much harder to get them off the subject and calm down. These verses really should make us all look long and hard at ourselves. The problem with this kind of individual is this, and Proverbs talks about it over and over again. Every man thinks they are right in their own eyes. There is a way that seems right to a man, and if you aren't on board with them, there can be no peace between you and them until you take their side. And there's probably been nothing that has brought more discord, tension, and broken fellowship in recent history than this virus. And the wood and the fire just keeps piling piling, piling on until things get more heated, until friends you would have thought were inseparable are no longer friends. Once strong, loving couples and families, even once loving churches are being torn apart by strife and division and wars and rumors of wars. Over what? A virus. People are doing things today and drawing lines in the sand. If you had told them three years ago we would be making these decisions and choices, we'll probably just laughed. There's no way. We have always had differences of opinion on things. But these last two years, things have become escalated to a boiling point. And we've lost our perspective. Why? Whispers, scoffers, gossips. People who are wise in their own eyes, who won't listen, who spread discord and discontentment, who won't humble themselves and agree to disagree. And this is true for those on every side of the issues we're facing today. Look in the mirror. Who do you see? Who do I see? Testing reveals our character. Look at the fruit in your relationships if you're unsure. Ask those closest to you if you really want to know. You may not like the answer you get, but if you really want to know, ask people who are close to you to be honest with you. 
I think Psalm 19:14 leaves us with some great instruction regarding these, some self-probing instruction. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. I think that's great truth to think about these days especially, but every day. What's going on in my mouth, in my heart? What's coming out of my mouth? Is it honoring and acceptable to God? May these truths guide us and guard us in the trenches of life as we seek to live our lives for the glory of God and the good of others. May God bless.